Hi. Um, it's Easter Sunday. Uh, so what better time to be outside doing some drills on your bike? <laughs> Only joking. But it seems like a good time to record some. Uh, so I'm just going to show you some things you can practice on your turbo. Uh, turbo riding inside doesn't have just be about slogging out the hours um, and getting your mileage in indoors. You can practice some really key skills. Uh, so we're going to do very brief um, runs through of single leg drills, um, picking up your water bottle. Um, although I haven't got a bottle cage on here, we'll, but we'll pretend. And then uh, transition skills. Uh, so. Have a go. I haven't got any traction on this, so just to make it a little bit easier for demonstrating. Actually, it's too easy. to grab your bottom. See, so I haven't got mine here. But you want to be able to see it while looking ahead, grabbing your bottle, sitting up, taking a drink, and then putting it down. To start with, you'll look down, but you'll gradually get to know where your bottle pages and be able to put it in without even looking at it. So, when you're on your bike next, have a go. Obviously, some of you are really skilled cyclists already, but if you need to cycle in the triathlon, really important skill to be able to do because you've got to rehydrate on a bike. Now, the next skill, single leg cycling. You take one leg out, just pedal with one leg, thinking about the push down at the front of the stroke, keeping it smooth. You can hear that I'm clunking a little bit, it's not as smooth as it could be. And then think about the pull up that part of the stroke. So pull up. I'm better at that part. And then put it all together, a lovely big smooth circle. Obviously, do both sides, otherwise you're going to end up very one-sided. Uh, next skill is transition skill, and the first one to master is when you're coming back into T2, um, taking your feet out of the pedals. Don't worry about T1 to start with, get T2 mastered first. So you cycle along. When you're, depending on your race, but probably when you're about 500 metres from the dismount line, and to reach down, pull up your tab on each shoe, loosen with your feet, slip one out, sometimes it's easier than other times. Really good if you've got downhill for that bit, so the is great for that. And then you'll pedal to the dismount line your feet on top of your shoes. When you get to the dismount line, you're ready to snap. You won't tackle dismounts yet. Just get used to that. Okay, that T2, is that's the easy bit. The hard bit is T1. T1, you need elastic. Sorry, you can't see me. T1, you need elastic bands for. And you need to set up your shoes to slip them on really easily. The best thing is if you've got proper triathlon shoes uh, you've got a nice big pull band there. Open up your shoe as much as possible and find somewhere to hook that onto 
Uh, I'm also my bike's on the turbo, so it's not particularly easy. I'm going to put it over a flat skewer. And same on the other side, find somewhere to anchor it. On this side you've got the derailleur, so you can normally fairly easy to do it there. Make sure that side's open too. You can use paper clips to hold your shoes open. Um, just put a little paper clip there, does help. Um, they normally stay on your shoe forever after that, so um, you don't have to worry about them falling off and causing nuisance. Where you have your shoes is really personal preference. You need to get used to that. Um, and all we're going to do for this practice is we're going to get onto your bike and you're either going to swing your leg over and put your foot in that shoe and start pedaling. Or if you've got your shoes the other way around, you, can, you should practice both really. Just have your shoes left to the front and back at the back and slide that foot in before swinging your leg over. I prefer this way because I've got a bit more control then, and off I go. Simple. <laughs> Simple, she says. But if you've got your shoe here, you can practice sliding in and then pushing over. And then if you've got your shoe, elastic bounded in, pushing through. If it all goes horribly wrong, that doesn't matter. You need to practice what you, can, what you do when it goes wrong as much as you practice if everything's absolutely perfect because things do go wrong in a race. Elastic bands snap before you get to the dismount line um, or somebody might have accidentally knocked it off when they're setting their bike up next to yours. You just don't know how it's going to pan out. So if something goes wrong, keep going and then reset and have another go. Um, hopefully nine out of ten times in a race it'll go right, but there's always that one time it'll go wrong. So have a go of those drills, single legs, um, reaching for your bottle, uh, and then T2, which is taking your feet out of the, head, uh, out of the shoes and riding with them on top and then T1, which is actually getting your feet into the shoes really nice and quickly. Try it lots of different ways, have a bit of fun with it, but your skills will improve when we eventually do get back to racing. Have fun. <laughs>